Okay, here's the printmaking demonstration for Studio Art 1. You're going to need a piece of large newsprint paper. That's what this is right here. This newsprint paper, eh, the long way goes this way. Okay, so you want to spread it out long ways in front of you. And you want to hang some over the edge of the table a little bit. So if you look here, you can see it's hanging over the edge of the table. Okay. So make sure it's hanging over the edge so you don't get any ink on the side of the table. And then you're going to need a metal bench hook. We have black ones and we have gray ones. The gray ones, I'm not sure if um, they're older. We've had both of these the whole 10 years that I've been at this school. And I think these gray ones are must be older because they're really beat up. Um, so if you happen, if the, all the black ones are gone and you happen to get a gray one, just make sure that you use the best side of it. Somebody used acrylic paint on this, so it has to be really scrubbed off. Um, but also, this uh, has chips on this side. And see these deep scratches? That's going to mess up the evenness of rolling out your ink because this is your ink plate. And, so, and you want an even ink plate. So if you get a gray one that has a side that looks really messed up like this, look on the other side. This side it would be fine. There's cracks uh, um, of chips over here, but you're not using the very edge. You're using a six inch strip in the middle. So this would be fine. So if you get one of these old beat up gray ones, just pick the best side. Don't use the beat up side. Use the smoother side, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate with a black one though. I have two here. I'm gonna take one off for now. Okay, so you need um, this newsprint paper first. You're gonna lay that down. You're going to put your uh, metal inking plate on the right side of the paper, and you're gonna have your block and your printing papers on the left side over here. Okay, so I already demonstrated um, a couple of live demonstrations that weren't recorded, and I did my artist proof. So this is my artist proof paper. And I used um, magenta ink for my artist proof. Turned out pretty well. Um, there's some spots that um, look white, a little spottiness, but um, that's normal in a print. So you're generally never going to have a print that has no white spots at all. Um, but these are minimal white spots. So you want to keep those white spots to a minimum, but they're always going to be there. Okay, so don't worry if you get some little bit of spottiness. You just don't want a lot of spottiness. This is print number two out of six. This one, um, I messed it up a little bit because I, by accident, I moved it. Once I put the plate on, I slid it a little bit. Um, and so you can see how it slid right here. Um, instead of being a crisp line, it kind of moves down a little bit. And that's because my plate, after putting it on, slid just a tiny bit. So that's what happens. Um, but it's okay. It still kind of makes it look um, a little bit more dimensional, you know, happy accident. Uh, again, a little bit of spottiness, but not too much. So there was a good amount of ink on my plate. Okay, now I'm going to do demonstrate with my third and my fourth. I'm going to do two prints to demonstrate and, and I'm going to do them two different ways. So you can see how to use the ink in two different ways. Okay, so I'll start with my number three, and I'm going to use a jar of blue ink. Okay, so um, if you're using the jars of ink, not the tubes because we have both. If you're using the jars of ink, you need a popsicle stick. We have, um, re this is a new popsicle stick. We have ones that are we can reuse that have been used, so they've got color all over them too. So either a new popsicle stick or a used one is fine. Okay, um, most of them have been used already, so they've already been stirred. You don't need to stir it if it looks um, like this. If you get a jar that hasn't been stirred yet and hasn't been used since last year, and you see some separation between the pigment and the binder, which is like the clear stuff, then just give it a stir, okay? And so you're gonna take about this much on your popsicle stick, and you're gonna put it on your inking plate right here, and you're gonna kind of dab it down into a line like that, okay? Now you don't wanna put this right all the way to the edge up here. Bring it down an inch and a half or so, so that your brayer can reach it. If you put it all the way up here in the corner, your brayer is not gonna be able to reach up there to, to grab the ink. All right, so I'm just gonna close this up, 
so it doesn't dry out and I can leave in case I need to take more ink out of the jar. I'm going to leave the popsicle stick like that uh, on the lid so that I can go right back and get some more ink if I need to. Okay, but I have plenty of ink on here, so I won't won't have to. Then I'm going to take this six inch brayer. I've got three brayers here. I have a six inch brayer, this inch and a half brayer, and then this four inch brayer, which is not good for ink, but is good for rolling out your print. So grab one of these, but don't use it for the ink. Um, use your six inch brayer for the ink. You're going to dip it first before you roll it out, kind of dip it in this ink. So you've got a little bit of ink kind of all the way around like that. Then leave that ink up there for later for grabbing more ink and start rolling this out right here. So I'm going to roll in this direction first. Then I'm going to roll in this direction. Okay. I'm going in both directions so I can even it out. You can hear the stickiness of the ink. If you can't hear that sticky sizzle when you're rolling, it means you have too much ink, okay? So when you hear that sticky sizzle sound, that means you've got a good amount of ink. And um, once it looks even on the inking plate, then you know it's also even on your brayer, okay? So I'm gonna switch over to my um, actually, let me put this down for a sec and just show you something. Um, if you washed your block, and each day you're going to be watching, washing your block, um, it kind of bends when it dries. So if your block is bent like this, take it and bend it in the other direction to straighten it out. Okay. So first, before you start rolling your ink onto your plate, just bend it in the opposite direction that it's bending and then lay it down and just flatten it as much as you can so that it's not bowing anymore, okay? And then let me just, now I made my ink uneven again, so I'm gonna even it out again. Okay, then I'm gonna take my brayer, come back over to the linoleum and start rolling it onto my block. And just like I rolled it in both directions on the inking plate, I can also roll it in both directions on my linoleum. And you just wanna look at all your parts, make sure um, you're getting, um, for a second, I hardly had any ink over there, so I concentrated on putting the roller over there. Look at all the different raised parts that are supposed to get ink on them and make sure they're all inked up. You can go back for more ink as many times as you need to, to fill your linoleum up with a nice layer of ink. Now, that being said, you don't want to keep going back 10 times. That, that's because this dries really fast. So you want to do this on the faster side, not rushing so much that you're not doing a good job, but going fast enough that this isn't going to dry out on either part. Okay, I'm going to lay this back down. Here is my number three print. I'm going to put my paper down here. Okay. Then I'm gonna make sure that my block is in the correct direction. So it's facing in the right direction. This is the top of my um, paper, printing paper. See how I just got, my hands are a little messy. So I just got a little ink right here. If I didn't have tape here, I would have gotten ink on my nice clean white border. That's right there is why we put tape on here. So we can have a nice clean border at the end of the project. So we have got registration marks here. I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can to those original registration marks inside the tape as I can. It may not be 100% perfect, but that's okay. As long as it's close to where you put those registration marks. Okay. Now first, before I flip this over, I want to press it down with my hands. And once I press it down, it kind of creates a little bit of a seal so that when you pick it up, you don't even have to touch the paper. When you pick it up, it's sealed to the paper, right? So create that little seal by pressing it down first like that, then flip it over, okay? And then with this part of your hands right here, you wanna really get that ink onto the paper everywhere. So I'm pressing down, making sure to get the middle, all the edges, every corner, 
with my hands first. Then, just to make sure that it's nicely um, transferred, the ink is nicely transferred to the paper, I use my dry brayer, the black one with the metal handle, and I roll, these ones are squeaky, roll the back of the print. And that really ensures that you're gonna get a good transfer of ink onto paper. Making sure I'm getting the middle too. You don't wanna just do the edges. You really wanna get that middle part too. Okay, that should be good. I put a lot of pressure on both hands and the brayer when I did that. And then you pull the print. So you can put your finger on the linoleum block here and you can pull your print up and there's my print. Okay, um, now for my next print that I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna use two colors and I'm gonna blend the colors. And I'm gonna show you how to blend them on your ink plate. But before I do that, so what I would do is I would wash this brayer and I would wash this plate in the sink with hot water, not cold. Um, but I'm, to save time, I'm gonna use another set. But you guys wouldn't go grab another set because there's not enough for everybody to have more than one. So before that, since I'm not using this ink and it's pretty expensive, I'm gonna scoop up the rest of this ink that I didn't use. See all that ink? I'm gonna scrape it back into the jar. Do one more little scrape up here. Okay, so I don't wanna waste that extra ink that was up there. So just use your popsicle stick, scoop it back into the jar and then close it up. And then if you're switching to another color to do your next print, you're gonna wash your popsicle stick, wash your um, brayer and wash your inking plate. But you also have to wash your block because if I wanna print with another color, I can't, the blue is gonna show through. So I'm gonna pause really quick from the demonstration just to wash this and then show you the next color. I just used hot water and a sponge and see how quickly the ink came off. When you use hot water, that ink just slides right off. And if you use cold water, it takes longer. So make sure you're using the hot water. It doesn't get so hot that it's scalding hot that it'll burn you. All right, since I'm printing, again, I'm blotting it with paper towels just to get it a little dry so that I'm not using a soaking wet block, okay? So just blotting with paper towels. So a little bit of blue ink left right in this spot, so just getting it out with the paper towel. Okay, so now I'm ready for my next color. Got a clean inking plate, clean brayer, and on this time I'm gonna show you using two colors from tubes. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I think I'll do, you could do your two colors going in this direction or going in this direction. I think I'm gonna do green on the bottom. So I'm just doing a little line of green. I'm gonna do a little line of yellow like that, okay? And then you're gonna take your um, brayer and you're gonna start rolling them like this. This is gonna take a little while. And in this case, I can't switch directions, otherwise I'll mix the colors in the wrong direction. So instead of turning the brayer like this, like I did with one color, I'm going to keep it in this direction. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift up a little bit. I'm going to take some green into the yellow. Then I'm going to shift down a little bit and take some yellow into the green. And so they're mixing in the middle. 
and I can keep going up and then down and then up until I get a nice mix in between the yellow and the green and it looks nice and even on the plate. Once it's even on the plate, it's even on the brayer, okay? And then I'm going to roll it in the same direction here so that like the top half of my butterfly is yellow and the bottom half of my butterfly is green, roughly. It might be a little bit um, of a mix in the middle. Okay, so just keeping my brayer steady so that I'm not mixing up those colors too much because I like to have a little bit of a mix in the middle, but one color on the top, one color on the bottom. And then I saw that my um, yellow didn't transfer on the top and my green didn't transfer on the bottom. So I just kind of turned the brayer a little bit more that way to get the top. And I turned the brayer a little bit more this way to make sure I got ink on the bottom. Okay, one more time over that way. One more time this way. Perfect. Okay, so it looks good to me. Now this has gotten really dirty right here. So a good idea is to take a piece of scrap paper. I have a big box of scrap paper up on the peace flag table. So it's a good idea to take a piece of scrap paper before you start printing. And oh, somebody's name is on there. Oh, that's a grade. Somebody got 100%. Okay, so um, you're gonna cover up any dirty spots. Then you're gonna take your printing paper. This is my fourth print and you're gonna put it down. Again, line up your block with the registration marks. Press with your hands first on the bottom of the block, then flip the whole thing over. I want, I'm wondering if I used a little too much ink on this kind of looks like it was a lot. So you might see what it looks like to use a little too much ink, but we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this. We only have two minutes of class left, you guys. So I'm about to finish this demonstration. And then you can hopefully print tomorrow. All right, see what that looks like. Okay, so the I did have a little bit too much ink on this one, but that's okay. It still looks uh, decent. Um, I've got some marks over here, but when I finish this up later, I could pretend that that's grass and maybe even add some more grass on the bottom. Um, and then you can see it's spread a little bit. So my lines are thicker than they really should be because I had a little bit too much ink. Also, my veins of my leaf didn't show up and that is because I had too much ink. So too much ink um, erases your details. Not enough ink, you'll get lots of white spots. So you've got to find that sweet spot in between. Okay, that's the end of the demo. And you guys can... Um, watch this again if you want to watch it before you start printing.